Bicipital tendon sheath injections are performed for bicipital tendonitis. You would recall that there are two heads to the biceps tendon, the long head and the short head. Bicipital tendonitis, also known as biceps tendonitis, occurs with inflammation of the tenosynovial sheath around the long head of the biceps tendon. The long head of the biceps can be found on the anterior aspect of the shoulder, just below the anterior portion of the acromion. It sits in the bicipital groove between the greater and lesser tuberosities of the humerus. The upper portion is enveloped by a tenosynovial sheath, which is actually an extension of the capsule of the shoulder. By placing your fingers here and externally and internally rotating the arm, you will feel a distinct cord rolling under your fingertips. It will be quite tender in bicipital tendonitis. The aim of injection is to place the solution within the tendon sheath. Using a retractable pen, mark a point just distal to the area of maximal tenderness. These injections should always be done using sterile technique. Scrub the site and then clean in an outward fashion. Here I am using a mixture of 2% chlorhexidine and 70% isopropyl alcohol. Alternatively, you can use providing solution followed by alcohol. Local anesthetic can be applied to the skin and subcutaneous tissue down to the tendon using a 25 gauge needle, but this may be bypassed as infiltration of the anesthetic would be just as painful and would mean two needle sticks for the patient. Here I have a mixture of 40 mg of Depometrol mixed with 2% xylocaine to a total volume of 2 ml and I am using a 22 gauge 1.5 inch needle with the bevel facing upwards. Advance the needle through your mark at about 30 to 45 degrees to a depth of about 3 to 4 centimeters. Always aspirate to ensure you're not in a blood vessel. Then inject the solution. This should go in freely. If there is any resistance, withdraw and adjust the needle to avoid injecting into the tendon, which can cause a partial or complete tear. Finish off by drying the site and applying a bandage.